Hi, uh, let's get started with eye size versus u size. We have already discussed what are data types, what are type inferences, and now we'll discuss about eye size and u size. Now, Rust has multiple integer types. Fixed size types like i8, i16, i32, i64, i128, and there are two special ones i size and u size. Now, i size and u size are pointer size integers, which means their size depends on the system architecture. If your system is 64 bit, then the value of i size or u size will be 64. Whereas if your system is uh, 32 bit, the value of i size and u size will be 32. Now, as you know, i is for signed integers and u is for unsigned integers. i size, unsigned or, or signed integer whose type depends on the platform target, like it cannot store negative and positive it can store negative and positive values but it will totally depend on the target platform on which the code has been used similarly with uh, u size unsigned integer types which whose size depends totally on the target platform only non-negative values you can store in this one now how do i prove or how do i check what exactly will be the size of i size or what exactly will be the size of u size of your own system you could use this small program in order to understand what exactly is will uh, uh, what exactly will be the size of i size or what exactly will be the size of u size in your local so what i have here is a small piece of code don't worry about these references i'll explain them later but try to understand what is the significance or what is the size of i size and u size in your system what we'll do here is we'll do a cargo run and you could see size of i size is 8 and i and size of u size is also 8 now it, this is a very preliminary uh, knowledge of computer science is like 8 bits equals 1 byte and so on and so forth so 1024 byte is equal to 1 kilobyte and so on and so forth we have 1 kb 1024 kb is equals 1 mb doing this operation itself what we have here is size of u size as 8 which means it is 1 byte for 8 bits so you'll have to, and this is a single byte so if you want to check how many bits of your system or uh, what is the u size you'll have to multiply by 8 so this here is a single byte like it is 8 bytes this is 8 bytes so it becomes the system becomes 8 into 8 I'll write it here 8 into 8 which means 8 bytes into 8 bits which becomes 64 bits because 1 byte equal to 8 bits so 8 bits becomes 8 bytes become 64 bits that's the simple calculation so that's your systems uh, or platform systems size of i size and u size now why exactly is why exactly are we talking about this if i go back to the notion doc so say suppose you are doing indexing uh, of a list or you want to traverse of a list uh, in, in rust what you should prefer is basically a u size because it it if it it, it doesn't make sense to use i32 actually because it, it the rest compiler won't compile itself like array indices must be of type u size if it is of type i32 it will not compile let me copy this code for you and and give it a try i'll just copy it from here i'll paste it here and i'll do a cargo run you could see here the value at index 1 is 20 and this is what we have here but if I do it like this and I copy this part and paste it here and I do a cargo run the compiler tells me slice indexes are of type u size or or range of u size actually so it has to be a u size instead of i32 and if I do it save it and run now it will give me 20 again so since our application or our code is uh, platform dependent we'll have to use i size or u size in terms of uh, indexing mostly u size itself not i size because i size is not suitable for this case 
now if if i if i sum it up so you use u size when dealing with array or vector indices vector is something which we have not covered we'll cover it in later videos length or you're dealing with lengths of collections actually but when should we use i size you need platform arithmetic uh, when you need to perform arithmetic that can result in negative numbers like calculating an offset between two pointers then you use i size the use of i size will be clear in uh, later videos but just keep the gist in your mind that whenever you are doing an error operation you need to use a u size or if you want to traverse over or check uh, a particular index of a particular collection then you use u size and i size is used more of in terms of pointers or correct or uh, calculating offset or difference between pointers actually and what exactly are i size and u size these are basically uh, the bits which your platform uh, can support actually or, or the your system configuration which is either 32 bits or 64 bits so yeah that's one that's all uh, for this one uh, i'll hope to see you in the next one thanks